Captain John's bus conversion brought to you by the wearers of these. This video is for entertainment purposes only. This is not a how-to video. Anything you see me do in the video, you ought to assume it was done wrong, unless you're told otherwise by a qualified professional. I don't know how to play the harmonica either, but it doesn't stop me. I haven't been able to get a lot of work done on the bus in the last few months because it's been parked at my place uh, down in southern Oregon, but I've been half a million miles away working in the Seattle area. But now it's time to pack up the toy car and head on back home, at least for a while. Bet you're glad to see me back. I'm going to give you the, a tour of the bus. Look, grab a put of seats in. Welcome to John's Bus Conversion Video. Wait, how many videos is it? Oh, whatever, who cares? <laughs> this is the shower. Grandpa, tell them about the shower. Oh, I got this shower. What's nice about it is it's, it fits the wheel well here. So oh, yeah! Wheel well. That's kind of the centerpiece. I can see it's not draining very well. One problem I had with it is it's an RV shower, and I cut a hole for a regular um, size shower drain and it was too big and so I had trouble with it leaking and now it's all siliconed up and you can see it's not draining that well so if you get mm -hmm. one of these that would be something to, to be careful about I, I don't know what's up with that but that's the problem I had with it and anyway so here it's going to get backer board here this is going to be all tile and uh, oh, we should show the windows for these windows three windows I blocked out I made some stuff let's go outside and show that took some stock aluminum and made these uh, these frames and then took some sheet aluminum and put it inside so these fit in the same spot that a window used to fit and I'm not sure I may take sheet metal like this and put it over and just cover them completely and these two are probably going to get blanked out too so I'm making some more of these window blanks and uh, these things that, uh, from blanking out the windows made out of aluminum and it's kind of dark in here but hopefully you can see what I'm up to I've got this uh, cutoff saw I got it goodwill it was like 40 bucks or something and it's got a special blade uh, you want to use a special blade this is an aluminum blade one here and I set this kind of jig up so I can cut them all exactly the same size so I cut the right side in an angle and then I've got it marked here on this piece of wood so I line the piece of wood up exactly flush on that side and then I've got a mark where I can put this uh, this triangle square and uh, line the piece up there so Don't forget to use goggles. They're all done. I drilled holes in them for the rivets. And uh, I just I need to get some uh, some more sheet metal. So here's how these uh, these window blanks that I made fit into the window. Uh, the existing windows have these screws that hold them in. So you just pull those screws out and the window pops out. So it just kind of pulls right out. See, and that just pops in there where the window went. Grandpa's using shirts for pillowcases. And this is the awesomest movement ever. <laughs>